Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's game announcements for the fourth week of May, so let's get started. Investigate a haunted home while avoiding the evil spirits who have taken residence within its halls, an infliction extended cut. Uncover hidden paths, secrets, and clues while avoiding combat as much as possible. But if you summon the courage to confront these entities, manipulate light sources and camera flashes to momentarily escape their grasp. The Takeover is a side-scrolling beat-em-up inspired by 90s classics that can be played either alone or via local co-op. Fight your way through 7 stages with 20 unique locations and fast action combat that allows you to link up your moves with your allies when it releases June 4th. A port of the surprisingly popular Steam game Drug Dealer Simulator is making its way to the hybrid console. Begin your story in a small dirty hideout and by controlling your territory, build out your enterprise. In a world where only respect, money and power matter, micromanage your minions or go at it alone to reach the top. The 2D twin stick style arcade shooter Curved Space is all about harvesting giant spiders for energy, be it in a story mode or arcade style challenges, and choose your power ups carefully since they'll change the playing style dramatically in every attempt. The world is no more, there is no Medgard, and there is no Asgard, there is only Bosgard. Clash swords with massive bosses in this party game with online local multiplayer for up to 6 users, as a group of vikings attempt to take down Selly titans with varied mechanics. Play alone or with up to 4 friends in couch co-op through 12 procedurally generated levels and generic disaster. Upgrade, customize and dominate while hostiles and your own buddies try to take you down in every step. Missile Command Recharge is a reimagining of the arcade classic hit in the eShop next week. Defend your base by blasting an endless barrage of missiles hailing from the sky. Target power-ups to gain the edge in critical moments in each level for survival and glory via the online leaderboards. East Asia Soft is bringing Moro Chronicles H to the West. This dungeon crawling etchy RPG is a direct sequel to Moro Chronicles, with the typical turn based dungeon crawling combat fans have come to love, and the loving scratch HD Rumble feature the first game originally received. Kaolin Yuma Gaku and Ki Origin of Adventure is a remastering of the PS2 masterpiece Mujirushi that paved the way for modern day romance adventure games, featuring newly recorded voiceovers, new scenarios, new visuals, new story paths, and quality of life changes to modernize some of the combat. Originally released back in 1998 on the Sega Saturn, Baroque original version is seeing a remastering on the Switch later this year, focusing on a nameless mute and amnesiac protagonist tackle the almost endless tower for a chance of redemption. The subaquatic turn-based strategy RPG Deaths of Extinction Definitive Edition will include a brand new set of enemies, maps and weapons to tackle in your new journey. Tactically explore a massive area with 10 character classes at your disposal ready to meet any and all challenges. Fight your way through hordes of bloodlusting demons and escape in rising hell. This vertical roguelike offers procedurally generated events as the threat of permadeath is enough to keep you trekking forward, offering a full single player campaign on top of its challenges with online leaderboards. Discover what secrets hide in your village while making new friends in Potata Fairy Flower. Become the strongest witch in a 10 hour story where training is important but saving the world takes priority. The Cork is a 2D action RPG in Metroidvania about discovering just what lies on the other side of a massive wall just outside of the outskirts of your village. Will riches and fame find you or will death come knocking first? Feast your eyes on the succulent artsy and food themed worlds in Strawberry Vinegar, a visual novel with several endings and tells a friendship between a young girl and a demon. When the Past Was Around is a personal and ubiquitous game about overcoming the past and finding oneself. Solve various puzzles and mysteries throughout daily activities as whimsical tones set among a dreary backdrop. After a long journey you decide to rest in Hotel Sowels for the night. The next day you realize a very important item has been stolen from you in this surreal and strange adventure game. The next chapter in the platforming action piece saga, Awesome P2, is releasing on June 3rd. Explore 25 different levels with retro soundtrack and Game Boy style graphics. And that's what the game announcements will be covering this week. Next week we'll see the launch of XCOM 2, Borderlands, Bioshock, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, and Minecraft Dungeons on the Switch. We haven't seen that many cluster games together in one week launch in quite a bit. It's exciting times all around. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate the support and be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!